Hey y'all, it's Taryn. It is Sunday, March 21st. Welcome. I hope y'all have had a great couple of weeks. It's just been busy here. It's tax season, um, and they're still writing tax laws that affect last year. Um, so we've been able to file about, I don't know, five tax returns. But anyway, it is what it is. If you hear a bunch of um, banging and stuff, have no fear. Dax is out working on his car. <laughs> so, and ignore any cussing that you hear. I'm just kidding because he's pretty far away. You shouldn't be able to hear it. <laughs> um, before I get started with what I've been working on, Kirsten finished another project. So I was going to show you her stuff so far. Um, I made her give them to me. This one she did, this was like the second little thing she did. This is a Doreen Jones, and it was a free pattern. Um, there's a Facebook page that you can get these on. But since then, she has done this one. So that's pretty good, I think. Um, and I have no idea. I know it's off of Etsy. But if you're interested and you want to know, I'll ask her and put it in the comments or something. I'll let you know if you want to know. And then um, this week she finished this one. Uh, like a sunset landscape. Um, it's pretty cool too. I don't know what it is with my kids. Abigail's working on a giant full coverage, too. Um, I've been doing this a long time. I'm only uh, just thinking about getting around to doing full coverage. As you can see, I haven't been doing very good on it with the Mystic Stitch one. This one is also a pattern off of Etsy. If you're interested, let me know. But I thought those were pretty good. Um, she has a diamond painting that she's getting very close to finishing. Um, I'll try to show it to you when she gets it done. It's probably about four feet tall. It's huge. It's huge. Um, okay, so that's, you know, showing off my kid. Um, obligatory. We're supposed to do that. So, I did actually... Stitch. I have to move things around so that I have some place to put these afterwards. Um, this one is off of my um, 20 and 20 list. This right here uh, is the one I'm doing. It's from a kit. I don't know anything about this kit at all. Um, it says it's from 1995, and everything came all together. The last time I showed it to you, because um, I'm using all of the kit fabric and all of that, when I was showing, um, I think I did a whip parade, and where I was at the time, I had this one tiny bee because I was doing it one over one, and I decided to scrap that, and I'm doing it... Um, Two over two. This is the little tiny bee that I did before. No, I'm not doing that. And as you can see, obviously, I did not rip it out. Um, I left it in there. I dropped down and started the whole thing over. This bee is <laughs> that one. Um, I left it there for dimension. You know, it, it makes it look like that bee's farther away. Yeah, we're going with that. I have all the stitching in. Um, I got a little, well, obviously it's quick, and I got a little bit obsessive about it, maybe. I just have to go in and do back stitching. I've done the bees, but you can see I've done a little one petal on that flower. All the flowers have to be back stitched and everything. So the next time I pick that one up, it will be back stitching. It will be all about the back stitching. I worked on Christmas Gentleman 
which is also on my list of 20. <clears throat> and I have gotten a lot done, I think a lot, since the last time you've seen this one. Here's the overall. Um, I think there are, I have just one more Santa to go over here. Um, but since the last time I showed this, I have finished all of the back stitching from about here. That everything that is complete. All of it has been back stitched around the border and everything. So, so I did the back stitching. I put in the little holly berries, and I only had like one shade of this Santa's. Um, robe in there. This one has been so difficult and has gone so slow because it doesn't particularly look like it out here right now with all the colors in, but it is so hard to see where you've stitched on this fabric with that color. <clears throat> so I'm actually finally starting to feel like I might be able to finish that one this year year before I forget because I always do I worked just a hot little minute on why it's stocking <clears throat> so here is where it stands and basically I am now filling in I just had the line I've been filling in all this gray down here that's going to be like this cuff it's going to be this is my new starting line where this bottom row should be all back on track and so some of this i'm just making up as i go it is uh close enough and i also worked on my mystic stitch piece Solitude. As you can see, I forgot to pull these out. Um, get them ready. So since the last time I put in, I have it written down, 63 stitches. I know, it's pretty impressive. I'm not making my 75 a week at all because 75 a week is some horrendous number that I can't reach. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Mostly I put in some black stitches through here. <clears throat> okay. Those are those. I always forget to show those. On the Mystic Stitch, it's mostly hard to tell when anything is being done. <clears throat> I worked on this one. When I did my Whip Parade, I did not... Um, I should have... I should have taken pictures where I was at the beginning of the year. Um, so I went back because I felt like I was making just huge progress on everything. And so I went back to that video and screenshotted when I was showing my 20. It wasn't a whole whip parade. It was my 20 and 20. Um, I haven't accomplished near as much as I had convinced myself that I had. But... This one is one that, at the end of last year, beginning of this year, um, I was right, I had done like this part right here, and I was concerned that it wasn't going to fit, and so I had stitched up on the fabric that I had to find out that it wouldn't fit. I had not even done the stitching up there yet at the end of last year. So, on this one in particular, I really have made good progress because I had to start it over. So here is where we are. Um, since last time I added the hands, the trim at the bottom of the dress, and I started back stitching up here. I only put in one strand of black, but it's gone around the hat, the top of the hat and the sunflower up there. So I think it'll be really cute. I think I'll be really happy, especially since it should all fit. That'll make me very happy. 
I worked on this one is this little witch. Um, it is a Stony Creek pattern <clears throat> and I have just a working copy um, because this is from 1987 and it is one of the things that has disappeared since then. Um, but here we are. I, it's a bad time of the day with the sunlight. I'm sorry. Um, I filled in some of her without having an actual picture. It's hard for me to figure out what some of these things are. But I think that these are her stockinged feet. And then this is the broom handle coming down. So in this, I've started working. This is her face up here. Um, maybe that'll help. I don't know. So next I have, um, there's a lot of hair, her hat, and then the top of the uh, broom will come right up here. The broom head. Is that what they call it? I don't know. Um, this one is slow going. There's a lot of confetti. <laughs> Why? Um, I worked on this one. I'm doing this. Um, this is what I'm using as my 4th of July piece when I spin that on my wheel. And obviously it is duplicate stitch, but the patterns look like cross stitch patterns. Um, here's a piece of one. So, that makes it kind of easy to follow the pattern. We'll see if it translates well, because I've never done that before. I'm doing it on a forever old piece of 14 count Ada that has these little red squares on it. This time, we got the both feet are now done. Um, it's hard to see because it's a really, really light gray. Um, going in, starting on her dress, sweater, whatever it is she's wearing. And I am using three strands on this because I don't want this showing through. So, some places it gets, especially when I'm going back and filling in, it gets tough getting those stitches in there, but it's, it's working. <clears throat> yesterday because all we do is work pretty much that's what it seems like um so yesterday I told Dax that I wanted for two or three weeks I've been wanting a good hamburger and um so I told him I wanted to go to lunch yesterday and we went to a place in St. Marcus it's on the town square it's uh a bar but they have um, it's a bar that has a whole bunch of beer on tap. You know, they have like 120 different beers or something. I don't know. Um, but they make a really good hamburger. And so we went there and I forgot to tell them not to put the jalapenos on the burger that I ordered, which I took them off. It was no big deal. They were grilled, um, which... I like jalapenos, but when they're grilled, they tend to be hotter. At least, I think so. Um, and I thought I got them all, but I missed one. And made the mistake of licking my lips like I just did. And freaking set them on fire. I'm surprised they weren't red and like this by the time we left. But, but we left there and stopped at Lowe's to get some we have canister lights in the kitchen and I think I told John about in the bathroom that oh they don't make those anymore so you can't replace them and so Dax was thinking let's just as lights burn out let's just replace them with the LED lights but then it irritates him that the there's a delay in the light actually coming on in the bathroom it's above the shower, so it's not that big a deal. He's like, it'll drive me crazy if the whole kitchen is that way. So we bought a couple to put just above the sink to see how that goes. And 
ran into a client while we were there and talked to him and then went back to the office and he went in to make a copy in the room where the copier is and Wyatt was there playing games. He has his gaming computer set up there. And he was talking to Wyatt. And so his back was facing me. And I was like, what have you done? And he's like, what? Right under the pocket of his shorts in the back, they were ripped all the way across. Like, I could see his underwear. I could see his leg. I was like, thank God you don't wear a thong. Um, so now he's like, I don't know, would it be weird if I <laughs> contacted the client and say, hey, when we were in Lowe's, could you see my ass <laughs> hanging out of my shorts? Um, yeah, that'd be weird. But I told him, you walked in front of me because he went to open the car door for me. I said, I would have noticed. I would have noticed if they were ripped then. But so now he's all self-conscious. He's not sure if he ripped his shorts somewhere while we were out in public or not. But we call him Franken shorts because they're his favorite shorts. And I have pieced those things back together in other places. But I told him, I don't, I don't think it's going to work anymore. I think you're going to have to give them up. So Anyway. I worked on this, um, A Bush on a Peck uh, by Stony Creek. It is one of my new starts from this year, and I really didn't get much of anything done. Um, I think I did this in right here, and these two little pieces right there. Some days I hit the snooze and fall back asleep for a little bit, and that means I don't get as much stitching done because almost always my stitching is what I get done in the morning so before everyone else is conscious I worked on my Santa I can't think of the name of it right now um, it's a Mirabilia it's this one I can't get a good printout of it maybe I have it right here I guess I could look And look, I'm working this on a 29 count dirty white. Um, it's an even weave. It's not a, uh, I never say that because I don't usually ever know. I didn't put that sticker in there, that little post-it that said that it's a dirty white 29 count. Somebody else did it. Santa's Magic. That's what it's called. The person I bought everything from did that. I wasn't just somebody random. That's not what I'm saying at all. So, there we are. It's not terribly impressive. I think um, this time around, I think that I came in down here and did some of this, and I worked on this. This is also on my 20 and 20 and I really thought I had done more this is one of them that was a disappointment when I went back and looked at the pictures um, my work my progress is not that impressive but that's okay I may need to just retire or something I don't know yeah, who am I kidding because um, Unless everyone in my house is unconscious, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I have to get up and do these things while they're asleep. Mostly right now, everyone's preoccupied, so I can come out here and do my video. But I took, because it is beautiful out here today, and I've got all the windows open in the house and everything, I took Ziva, the dog who can't walk, um, out in the back for a little bit um, she laid on the patio a little bit until she was ready to come back in so she's back in already but you should see because I'm determined to make her use to help me to make her use her front leg she can use them I put a towel around her and I hold her back end up 
and I make her do the walking part, and it is a mess. It is a total and complete and horrible mess, so, but she got to go hang out outside for a little while. I worked on this book's books. I'm on the sheep. That's the one I'm on. Sheila Sheep. And really, I got a whole lot of nothing done since last time. I finished filling in the hat, and the black ear was already there, and so I did some of the white in the face that you really can't see. I'm guessing this was another sleeping in day. <clears throat> but it's what got spun for the wheel, so it's what got drawn. That is another 20 and 20. There is no good reason. <laughs> there's a reason those things aren't finished, but there's no good reason for that to not be finished. It's ridiculous. This, I worked on this one, Dimensions uh, Mason Jars. I think I've said before, I think I'm the only person in the world that has bought this kit that has not finished it or even made decent progress. <laughs> I'm still on the first jar. This time you really can't tell much different than it looked the last time I did it. I think I put in this darker orange looking color, but it's not true. That's all that's additional since last time. Somewhere, <coughs> excuse me, somewhere one of these flowers I had to pull out Okay, sorry, I was having a coughing fit, so I had to stop. I shouldn't have the windows open. It's allergy season, but I love it. Anyway, um, I was off, so I had to pull one of those out and put it back in, so I didn't get much farther ahead of where I was last time. This is also on my list. <clears throat> this week, I stitched on a lot of things that are on my list, and... A lot of them I'm not feeling really confident about, even though I've been stitching on them for years, that they're going to get done this year. I worked on Abigail's stocking. Um, it's also a Dimensions kit. <clears throat> Moving my needle minder here. Here is this one. Um, since last time, it really doesn't look terribly, probably different. Um, well, maybe. I finished the back stitching up here, and I came and did, I think, around right in here, did back stitching. But um, I also brought this down. It wasn't filled in before, so I have done that. <clears throat> it's also on my list everything's on the list I think I think that makes everything that I stitched on now my eyes watering sorry I'm sorry y'all have to see all this because um, you know I don't know how to edit it's not true I have a program on my computer at work that I can do minimal editing on, but my phone and my computer have stopped talking. So, even if I wanted to, I can't do that. I guess they've gotten divorced. I don't know. Let's see. I did a couple of save the stitches kind of thing. So, this is one of them. If this is how it came. Uh, it's from this Mill Hill kit. But that's pretty cute. So I'll cut that out and back it. And then this one's been cut out. And it actually has a little hanger already attached. But it hasn't been backed with anything. So I'll put some felt or something on there. But that's pretty cute. I thought those were cute. Got them on um, Listia. And then because I finished um, the Autumn Bird, Heather 
contacted me and asked me, told me that she had inadvertently bought two winter ones and asked me if I'd like the other one. And I said, of course. I think I hear my husband out there. Um, and asked her if she already had the autumn and she did not. So we swapped and hers came in. <clears throat> what she sent me. Look at this card. I'm certain it's one she made. Isn't that cute? I wish I could even come up with stuff like that. That's just, that's cute. But I don't think I'd actually even seen this one before. Isn't that cute though? There's a spring and a summer. And I know that there are other things like actual holidays. So I got a new pattern. Mm -hmm. I've really been itching to start something. It's driving me crazy. I've been working on finishing things. <clears throat> I had, I finally found something that this witch would fit in. I've had the worst time with her. I don't know how many frames I've bought. Um, this, because Dax got me a new little chalkboard for my kitchen. This was in there, and it had a uh, chalk contact paper in it. So I pulled that out. It was This used to be red, and so I painted it black. Um, it's super shiny black paint. I think it actually says it's supposed to be for metal. I don't know. I just painted it, and it works. And this is just on a piece of foam core. Um, I used spray-on glue and put a real thin piece of batting on it and then wrapped this on it. This is hot glued on the back. <laughs> I was going to lay something like, I'm going to glue it into that thing, so why do I care? Um, but it's not, that's not its finished state. That's not how it's going to stay. I have ordered um, green cording and orange to decide to see what I like. I ordered green. Hopefully it's going to be about that color. And um, the orange. I was concerned with the orange because if I put it right here, it's going to be right up against the pumpkins. And then I'll have to figure out some kind of bow or something to put on top. And I have this little guy to put in the middle of the bow. Um, so I am I at least got that far, right? I'm thrilled about that. And then um, I I had a different idea in mind and it just wasn't working. It wasn't I couldn't find the what I was picturing in my mind. And I was trying to come up with ways to make it like just stop. Just stop because you're making this harder than it needs to be. When I was in high school, which was a long, long time ago, um, I graduated in 1984. <clears throat> I got this book. I, you can see where it was. This poor book has been put back together with masking tape. Even the inside pages have... Um, <laughs> and I put packing tape over it to try to hold it together. Anyway, um, if you see that, this is all fabric, right, where you do a wall hanging. Yeah, I still have the fabric that we bought, that my mom bought, um, when I was going to make this. I was going to, this was going to be one of my projects in the county fair, and I just didn't get it done in time, and it set forever. I finished it stitching all the different pieces a couple of years ago, I think. Because um, I think I had this one needed to be finished. I finished off this one and this one. I think those two pieces weren't quite done. <clears throat> so anyway, 
I've had this sitting around in my box of uh, things that needed to be FFO'd, which I was putting some things away out here and stumbled across some things that I had pulled to FFO and then didn't get it done in time, didn't have the time to do it, and I opened the box to put on back end. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. There are things in there I forgot I even made. I mean, I need to get them done, but I did get these done, and I just made them into little pillows, all of them. It's kind of a sage green check fabric, so I have a... Um, Uh, Coke, Coca-Cola, um, the wooden box. Mine doesn't have any of the middle pieces for the individual bottles. It's just the box. And um, do y'all see that sparkly? That's with the old thick DMC. This is in it, in the mirror, in the sink faucets. Um, anyway, so... Um, I'm going to, that box sits on the entryway table and it's got a lamp that sits in it that we bought on our honeymoon. Um, and I'm going to set these in there with it. The lamp is like a little house. Um, so I thought these would be great. They'll be fine in there with that. I didn't go to any special, obviously, um, trim around the edge or anything like that. Just like this and simple is fine with me, especially since I'll probably have to find them every morning to see what Bartholomew did with them. I don't know how long it'll take him to discover that I've put them there, but once he does, then I'll need to go find them. Um, what else? What else? I know I told y'all about the bag of sugar ripping open and pouring everywhere. This week I knocked, um, I was putting a box that I had taken off, <laughs> taken off the shelf in the pantry. I was putting it back in the very same spot and I knocked off a container of oatmeal that was at the other end of the shelf. I don't even know how I do this stuff, y'all. It's not like the shelves are that packed. But I knocked it off, and it was it was a big one, and it came open, and so I dumped oatmeal all over my pantry. Um, I'm not sure if I have the cleanest pantry in the world or the dirtiest one, because I keep making these messes, and then I have to clean it up. But so I'm I'm over it, y'all. I am over it, <laughs> and then. I dropped something at the office. We have a, a little refrigerator. It's not a mini fridge, but it's not full size either. It's in between. Um, and I dropped, I don't even know, I don't remember what I dropped, but I knocked the bottom shelf of the door out and everything that was in it. So Dax isn't going to let me touch things anymore. Probably, I don't know. It's just been nuts. And then one morning I was sitting out here and I could hear some, this noise. And like I said, everyone else is asleep when I'm up cross-stitching because I generally get up at five in the morning and <clears throat> I could hear this noise and I'm like, oh my God, is there a mouse in here with me? Because it was like over here in this area. And... I stopped and because I had floss tube playing, so I stopped that and was listening, you know, what is that, what is that? And I couldn't figure it out, so then I do what you do when you hear things you don't like. I turned floss tube back on and I turned it up louder so that you don't hear it. And realized later when I was getting ready to leave that it was an armadillo out <laughs> right out the window and he was digging around through the leaves looking for bugs, but he scared me. I'll give him that. Um, I think that's everything. I don't think that I've 
bought anything. I think that's it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to say maybe I'm going to FFO some other things this afternoon, but I just made um, some Dutch apple bread, and probably what I'm really going to do is go in there and eat some bread. <laughs> As you can probably pick up on here, um, I like bread. I I am all about bread. I love bread. I love pasta. Um, mostly if they tell you don't eat it, that's that's what I love. <laughs> if they say, you shouldn't eat too much of this because it's not good for you, I'm there. That is me. So, anyway, like I said, it's beautiful here, and I may go get a slice of bread and go sit on the rocking chair on the front porch and just enjoy the day for a little bit because it'll be time to cook dinner soon enough. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. Thank you for to everyone who has commented, who comments on videos, to those of you who like them, and thank you for those who subscribe and to those of you who just stop by and actually watch the video. I appreciate it. And I'm going to try like crazy. I'm going to try to get back here next week and get back in that routine. But no promises. Anyway, y'all have a great week and we'll see you here next time. Thanks, y'all. Bye.